Hello, hello, hello. It's Kathy Vidal at MyStupidSpot.com. Excuse the barking dogs. So, I came on late this afternoon figuring I'd be better organized, and somehow I am not. <laughs> All right. Just want to remind everybody real quick. We're coming down to the end of the month. The make and takes, the free make and takes, $35, get you these five card kits. All you need is a stamp and ink and an adhesive. Spend $35 with the host code that's posted up above, and I'll send these to you for free, plus a bonus half pack of the Rings of Love DSP. It's a lot of free stuff. Okay. So, um, I was trying to decide what to do that was quick and easy. And I decided I wanted to use this block of Gingham Cottage 12 by 12 paper. Have you seen it in the holiday catalog? I still call it the holiday catalog. They don't call it that anymore. They call it the July or June to June to uh, December catalog is what they call it. It's all ginghams, big and small in all different colors. And there's 48 sheets in the pack. It's actually pretty awesome stuff. I'm going to use the Smoky Slate. And I am going to use the Petal Pink today. We're going to see how it looks. I don't know. There's black. I mean, really, virtually any holiday. The fall, the spring, the beautiful daffodil color. Really, it's great. And the neutrals are awesome. The blacks, the grays. The greens, they're, they're really, it's a lot of paper. So check that out. But that's what I've pulled. And I've pulled some Smoky Slate cardstock and some Blushing Bride cardstock. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm thinking some layering. So we're going to see how that works. I also pulled Very Best Occasions and uh, Stitched Stylus stylish shape dies so these are um, nesting dies and they have a stitch texture and I actually cut out some circles hopefully you can see the stitching on it see right there so I cut out a few of those in case I make a mistake <laughs> um, but that's what I'll be using today very best occasions. This is what I call the holiday catalog, but it's a June to June to December. Uh, love you, mean it. Thinking of you, you make my life happier. Sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. With a little more sparkle and a little less stress, let's make Christmas the very best. Happy birthday. You're the best ever. Love you. Miss you with comfort and love. Endlessly grateful. I mean, look at comfort and love, sympathy. Love you. Miss you. Love you, mean it. Those could be anniversary, thinking of you, happy birthday, endlessly grateful. That could be uh, Thanksgiving. May you enjoy the warmth of family this season. Both of those are holiday. May your days be happy, your heart be light, your Christmas merry, and the new year bright. I mean, awesome. And so many of these are great for inside the card, not just on the card front. And that's a lot of times very difficult to find. So we're going to use that. And my guess is a smoky slate ink. But we're going to see what happens. Oops, I pulled gray granite. We're going to see what happens when we get this card together and see what we think looks best. But there's a smoky slate ink. Okay, I'm going to put those aside. Let's start with the Blushing Bride cardstock. I am going to score a four and a quarter. Look at that. My scoring blade fell off. Have no fear. I'm going to take my bone fold up, prop it in there, and use the channel to score. Then I'm going to cut at five and a half. I just remembered I was designing last night till 11.30 at night, and I just remembered it popped off, and I stuck it on my little stamp and scrub. Silly me. Okay, I'm going to use this bone folder to get a nice crease on that. Okay. Now, here's the tricky part. I think, I think, I think, here was my thought. 
too busy, isn't it? That's very busy. Maybe we'll do that. Or maybe we'll do that. You know what? I'm going to do the smaller gingham, but I am going to outline it in the gray. So, let's go down one eighth of an inch. So we'll do four and one eighth inch. by five and three eighths inch. Now I'm not gonna glue this together because I did not pre-plan this and I'm not really sure how this is gonna come out. So I'm gonna just kind of put it in place, but not actually, hey Jennifer, yes pops off all the time too. Sometimes it can be frustrating, but I love it so much. Anyway. Okay, and then we're going to cut five, I mean, I'm sorry, four by five and a quarter. Years ago, I used to own a cutter that you could buy replacement blades for. It wasn't a Stampin' Up! cutter. You could buy replacement blades for it, but you could not buy um, a replacement scorer. And I don't know how it happened because I thought that the scoring blade was actually metal. But it must not have been because I was unable. What do you think? I like that. Jennifer, <laughs> thank you. Hey, KB. You know what, Jennifer? It's funny. It's actually, I grew up just north of Boston. It's more of a Bostonian accent. A lot of people tease me about it, but that's okay. All right, I'm reaching for a ribbon here. I'm looking for, let's see here. What do we have? What do we have? Not much of this one. This is petal pink. I'm gonna grab the other roll and we'll see if we have enough. So this is the, this is Blushing Bride, but I do think this petal pink matches well enough especially if I'm putting another gray layer on. So let's do that. Um, see, I'm kind of thinking like that. So I did four. I'm going to go down to three. Let's see what that looks like. So this currently is three by... Four and an eighth. Isn't that interesting? But that's not going to be the right... Oh my gosh, it is the right dimension. That was pretty lucky, eh? Okay, and then I think I'm going to let a little more gray show this time, and I'll go like a full quarter inch. Well, maybe we'll do the eighth inch. Maybe I'll do the eighth inch. I don't think I like the big. And I don't think I like the gray. Although, I don't know. Do you like the gray? <laughs> Pack the car, Jennifer. <laughs> um, someday when we have more time, I'll tell you guys a funny story. Um, I don't know. Do you like the pink gingham or the gray gingham on the top? I can't decide. Anybody have any input? Hey, Carla. How are you? Thanks for joining me today. Do we like the pink or the gray? I think I'm going to go with the petal pink. All right, so I need to cut this down to, what did I measure this at? I measured this at three. So I'm going to do this at two and three quarters. Pink. Awesome. Oh, look at that. I think that just about worked out. Oh, no, it's a little bit long. So this measures at about four and an eighth. So I want to go to three and seven eighths, I believe, if I'm right. I'm going to find out. Oh, <laughs> Diane. <laughs> Thank goodness for the uh, pause button or the, the magic of TV that we can go back, right? Okay, well, thanks for coming. I am grateful for that. Okay, I think I like that. I'm going to put my papers aside. And we're going to glue it together, see what it looks like. 
And I'm going to hope that it's not just a little bit too busy. You know what I do think? I did an eighth of an inch border here. And I actually think... Do I have enough room to go quarter inch here? I actually think I'd like the wider border on this. So I am going to do that. I am going to make this... Um, that was four and an eighth, so I'm going to make this three and seven eighths. And that was five and three, so I'm going to make it five and one eighth. So I'm just taking one eighth inch off. So hopefully I wind up with the quarter inch. Yeah, see, I think I'm going to like that better. We'll find out, though. Okay. I should have brought some white over for the inside. But we'll just do the card front. Okay. There we go. I'm going to put this on the card base. When my card base is folded, sometimes I have a hard time. So I like to open it up to position it. And typically, it comes pretty good. Like that. Okay. Now, like I said, this is Blushing Bride. This is Petal Pink, but I think it matches okay. If you don't love it, you could do white. Um, right at the end of my roll, this is the Soft Polyester Ribbon. It has almost a, um, like, velvet feel, almost. I think I have to just cut that off. I was going to try to pull that tape off. And I'm just going to tie a square knot, which, if you haven't seen me before, you take the piece in your left hand and you put it over the piece in the right hand. And then you pull it under. Then you take the piece in your right hand, and I flop that down, and I put it over the left hand. And then the real key is, Pull your little tabs in the direction you want them to go. I'm going to trim this up just a little bit. We cool down in the northeast today. Yeah, uh, don't need the white with the pink. The white ribbon, you mean? Yeah, I, you know, it's funny. Um... It's funny how when you see just the plain cardstock, the Blushing Bride and the, what's the pink called? The Petal Pink. It's funny how different they look side by side. I should grab a piece and show you. But somehow when it's mixed in with other colors, they look very similar. Falls are absolutely magnificent up here. Where are you from, Jennifer? I, um, they are spectacular. If you ever get a chance to come to New England in the fall. All right, I think I'm going to say sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. Which is this one, and I am going to do it in the basic gray. This is, uh, this is neurotic me. Ah, oh, Missouri. Misery. Is it hot there? Oh, it is hot there, isn't it? So, let's see. Do I have a smaller block? Well, my block is much bigger than my stamp. Actually, maybe this is better. I will put my block on the diet, the stamp on the diagonal on the block. And that's so that I kind of force myself to look really well at trying to get this straight. But this block is narrower, so I'll put it on this one. And in this case, I am trying to line up the bottom of my greeting with the bottom of my block. And that way I know if this is straight, then hopefully, if I've done it right, this will be straight. Yeah, you know, we had a couple tough days too, Jennifer. Um, it did get cooler here today. It's still really hot. It's in the 80s. But the thickness is gone. 
All right, this greeting may be a little small for this stitched circle that I chose. So we maybe have to really, yeah, that's way too big. What was I thinking, cutting that big? These are some of the shapes I have on my desk. So let's see what else we can put that on because that circle is just a little too big. Equally as big. As big. There's got to be something in here. Oh. Oh, I kind of like that. Kind of makes me wish I had tucked that into the tag. Maybe. Maybe I can tuck it like that. So that means I want. So this is from. Let me see if I can find it. Here's all my shapes. These are all extra cuts I have. This is from the dies. Here's my annual catalog. Let me show you. This is actually a great set. And it is called. I'm sorry, I should have um, planned this a little better. This is this tag right here from Designer Tags. This is great. I've used this quite a few times. This piece here is very cool because it's nice and big and it has these pop-outs so you can put a ribbon between it. It doesn't look like mine die cut very well, but if you pop out the tabs, you can slide the ribbon right through it. It has... Uh, I have other shapes here, but it has this butterfly, which is very pretty. And this little sprig is so useful. I use it in so many colors. In fact, I designed a card for my lo local stamp group this month. Um, that is a sympathy card that I just made that little sprig in early espresso. And I think it is adorable. Okay, so I'm going to make this tag go like this. So I'm pushing it down here because I want to try to put this so it's straight, even though the tag will be crooked. Here we go. Now I know that looks funny like that. Ooh, the Ozarks. The Ozarks. My daughter was there recently. She rented a cabin with some friends there. They were out that way on business and they decided to extend their stay because they had never been there they loved it all right and I'm just going to tuck it in and kind of make it look like it's attached to this little ribbon here even though it's not like that we're going to fudge it and let's see now we need blame oh ooh, ooh, how about these little pearls I think these would be pretty. Well, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, listen to me. Oh, ooh, ah, I love those. These are the new red and green adhesive backed pearls, which, incidentally, were misnamed in the catalog. In the catalog, this is the uh, holiday catalog, as I like to call it. They were called, that's the wrong holiday catalog. That's the spring one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so disoriented today. They were called festive pearls. They're called red and green adhesive backed pearls. So you get the gold and the silver and the red and green and the green is a lighter green. It's not like a very bright green. It's very pretty. And I actually think like that. Nah, well, I actually, I think I'll stick with the pearls. I guess I'll go with my first instinct of the pearls. Put one up here. Put another one here. I love pearls. There we go. 
That's it. Ten minute Tuesday. I think it was a little more than ten minutes because I was kind of a little ADD or something today. <laughs> Not quite on my game, but nonetheless. There we go. Not quite what I envisioned. I was picturing a circle here and that was way too big. But I like it despite it. So check out the Gang Gang and Paper. It's a great deal for so much paper. All right, can we talk about my Christmas club? You get two of each. If you're local and you want to pick up, this has music notes. I hope you can see that. This is all die cut. The star is a sparkle paper. You get two of each card. This is DSP and some gold holly leaves. Um, and these are wooden elements that I colored with markers. These are the little dots I was just showing you. The red and green. And the shaker card. Now I made mine Happy New Year because I'm working out of one stamp set for all six months. But wouldn't let it snow be a great caption on this card. So you get two of each card. Total of eight cards. Everything's die cut for you. Everything's embossed for you. You get all the bling. You get all the ribbons. You'll get all the little sequins inside the card. Everything's die cut. All you need is literally adhesive, a stamp set, and an ink pad. And if you don't have the exact ink pad to match, use black. Black goes with everything. All of that is $28. You get the envelopes, the instructions. I'm actually going to include a video link for this one. It'll be in your instructions. Thank you, Cheryl. But not only do you get all eight card kits for $28, you're also getting $24.50 worth of product for free. Not including the shipping. If you add the shipping, that's another $260, $270. So you're going to get a half pack of this paper cut 6 by 12 this is the Bows of Holly paper. It's gorgeous. This reminds me of being a kid in the 1970s. Love the poinsettias. The back is more rustic, more natural. You can use the green trees as a background. That doesn't have to be Christmas. Neither does this. The green. Very busy, but very pretty. Holly and berries. I love this stripe. This is what I used in the background of this paper. I mean, that's Christmas, but this could be anything. Those little polka dots in there, you could use that for Valentine's Day even. I love this paper. Almost army print. So you get a half pack of this paper cut 6 by 12 You'll get a full package of these little wooden elements. These are called textured elements. They're wooden. You can see they're, they've got some good dimension to them. And I chose to color them with markers for this card. So you get a full package of that. You'll get, and I'm sorry to say I don't have any left, but you'll get a full spool of this beautiful cotton ribbon. It's so soft and nice, and if you want to, you can fray the edges. And as an extra bonus, in the email that went out and everything that's online, I didn't mention this. You're also going to get a half pack of the snowy white 12x12 12 12 velvet paper. Oh, thank you. My 10-minute segments that turn into 20 minutes. <laughs> so I have, you can't really tell, but this is velvet paper. This is great for die cutting, especially uh, snowflakes. Or if you want to do a snowy scene, it's great. It's beautiful to make snowmen. We have some great snowman dies. So you'll get a half pack of this. Like I said, this snowy white velvet paper is not listed in the emails or on the Facebook post. But you will get a half pack cut 6 by 12 too. So that is almost $25 worth of product with the ribbon. And the eight card kits, two of each. So think about that. I put the link at the top. And um, my 10 Minute Tuesday. I love this gingham paper. All right. I will see you tomorrow for World Watercolor Month. Watercolor Wednesday. Um, I'll show you a new technique tomorrow. 
All right. Do you guys like mornings? Do you like evenings? Is this time of day better? I kind of been throwing it all over the place to try to catch different people, see what people like best. So if you have a time that you like best, pop it in the comments and I'll post tomorrow what time to look for me. All right. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Have a great night. Bye.